What's going on guys? Um, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about Battlefield 4. Um, kind of some news about it, and then halfway through the video, I'll kind of start talking about, um, you know, maybe some competitiveness in Battlefield 4 and how that would greatly improve, you know, sales of Battlefield 4. Alright, so let's start it out right here. Uh, really quick news. Um, the four maps that will be coming back in Second Assault, Oman, Crapsby and Border, Metro, and Firestorm, all pretty decent maps. I don't really like Caspian Border, so we got that out of the way. So I just wanted to let everybody know that in case you were kind of, you know, not for sure on that. Um, uh, another thing I want to talk about is Test Range in Battlefield 4. Uh, it's pretty much just like a game mode. I think it's a game mode. You just go in there and you can practice your uh, guns. You can practice like the recoil patterns. You can reload and everything like that. Uh, and just practice anything, you know, with your gun. And then you can practice with vehicles if you're not good at flying jets, not good at flying helicopters. You can go in there and fly around and everything. And um, I think that's pretty cool um, because I could never fly or do anything like that in Battlefield 3. So it's whatever. Uh, and there will not be bots. There's been people saying there's going to be like uh, Black Ops 2 and have bots. There will not be bots. So don't get trapped up for that one. And the rest of this video, I kind of want to talk about the competitiveness in Battlefield 4. And I really, really hope that they bring out the competitive side of Battlefield because Battlefield... You know, even going into pubs, it's pretty competitive if you make it competitive. Um, Battlefield 4 would really, really um, greatly improve with um, a competitive style game. And I'm not talking about, like, league play from Black Ops 2. I'm talking about, like, if you've ever seen MLG Call of Duty um, or, like, Optic and Phase MLG, the uh, actual teams... You would know what I'm talking about. It's like main stage, playing for millions of dollars, thousands of dollars, and you know money, and you know that gets people buying the game. If if people hear money, they instantly think, I gotta get it. You know, I gotta have it, and that pretty much means that people would buy the game. They'd spend hours practicing for these tournaments. They get teams together. They'd fly out to these tournaments. They'd play in these tournaments, and even if they lose, they still have Battlefield 4. So I think that would you know. Um, get the publicity for Battlefield 4 it needs to maybe take down Call of Duty. And um, I think, you know, Battlefield 3 was a really good competitive game, even in pub matches. So I know if they put it, like, on mainstream, uh, main stage at this some of these events, then, I mean, it would, without a doubt, probably beat Call of Duty because, you know, Call of Duty and Black Ops 2 in general just isn't, you know, as competitive for me. It's more of a casual game. And um, I think it'd be a good idea if they listen to me, but, you know, they probably won't listen to me. But it's whatever. I really hope they do it. Um, and that's like in Battlefield 3, they were supposed to have a uh, conquest tournament where I think the major prize was like $400,000 for first place. And that would have got a lot of people talking. They, like, released in um, early 2011. Uh, they were supposed to be doing it in later 2012. They never did it. There was no information brought out about that after, you know, after they had announced it. So, I mean, Dyson kind of failed on that one. But um, I, I'm pretty sure it was because of spectator mode. They didn't have spectator mode in Battlefield, and they didn't Call of Duty. You know, you couldn't have people commentating over it in the main stage on some of these big events. So that's my rant on competitiveness in Battlefield 4. I cannot wait. I really hope that that's what happens. I hope they, you know, start thinking about, you know, publicity and getting some competitive gamers back in Battlefield 4. So, yeah. Watch this last clip here. Um... It's actually pretty funny. Uh, me and Darkly were playing, I think it's Strike at Karkin, I'm not really sure. And we find a uh, poor unsuspecting victim over here. And yeah, don't go AFK. Look at you. So I'm going to teabag him for a little bit, and then I'm going to defib him. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys have a great day. Later. Peace out. Peace.